Hi, Avi here, and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about wine for Passover, wine for Pesach. Now, we know on the holiday of Passover, we have to drink not one, not two, not three, but four cups of wine. Now, one of the things people don't know or don't realize is that when you drink the cup of wine, you have to drink a little bit more than half of that cup of wine. And that could be a lot. So now, if you're using a little cup like this, you know, no problem. Got a cup like this, you're all right. You want to be a real guy? Grab one of these big cups. Try four of these, right? A little more than half, that's, that's pretty good, okay? So when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're drinking really, really good wine. Now, where are you going to get that good wine from? Uh, I get mine from kosherwine.com. Now, great selection, phenomenal, phenomenal labels on varietals of whites and reds and rosés and cabernets and, you know, all sorts of stuff, of course, champagnes and, uh, you know, you name it, it's there. And the prices are not only competitive, but they're really just spot on better, okay? To ship it right to your door. And right now for Passover, check out, they got Passover sales on the wine. And this is the time you want to stock up a little bit. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of something about wine, okay? We're not going to go through how to taste wine and stuff like that. But I want to talk about opening a bottle of wine. Everybody's got all of these different kinds of gadgets. The, 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 the rabbit and the thing you inject and it puts uh, air into the bottle and the cork pops out and all these different kinds of gadgets that are supposed to make your life easier and all like that. I prefer the old-fashioned waiter's corkscrew. Very simple, very easy to use. It's got a little blade on it. If it doesn't have a blade on it, you could just use a little pocket knife. Cut off the top, the foil on the top. Very simple, right? Just cut around it, make sure you don't slip. There you go, foil comes off. It's got a little curved blade, very easy to handle, okay? Pop open. And now, here's the uh, easy part for me. And this is the part that most people get a little, uh, a little confused on and have problems with. You wanna take the end of the cork screw and put it right in the center of the cork. Find the center, uh, about the center as you can, put it in. Press down. Now, here's what everybody does. You try to twist the cork. Forget about it. Your hand doesn't work that way. Twist the bottle, little downward pressure. Now what happens when you twist the bottle? Downward pressure on the cork, or the cork screw, it goes in. Okay? Put it in. Up. Now, gently pull up on the cork, okay? Now, if the cork starts to bend at the end, which most of them do, Here's where a lot of people make a mistake. You want to force that out of there, particularly if it's a tight cork, okay? And then the cork ends up breaking. It's going to break right about here. And that's not a good thing because you end up with a little piece of cork in the bottle. You end up with pieces of cork in the wine. So what do you do? Put the cork back up straight. Take this hand around the bottle, thumb up. This hand underneath the cork screw, thumb to thumb. Press down with your thumbs, right? Pull up with your fingers. Down with this hand on the bottle. So your bottle is firmly pressed down. This hand here, thumbs pressing down. Pull up, and there's your cork. Very nice, out of the bottle, and beautifully, no broken corks at all. Very easy way to open a bottle. You're gonna look like a hero. You're gonna look like somebody that knows what they're doing, put it that way, yeah. I believe the word is an unophile, okay? So then we just take, decant the wine, very nicely, you want to let it breathe a little bit, which is always a good thing with wine, okay? And swirl it around, get the air in there, and they make all these fancy things that, that uh, aerate the wine, and you know, personally, those are great, I love them. Uh, but right now, this is just a straight way to, to do it. Hold it up, okay, look at it. You want to you wanna just let it go in there, and then when you take it, sip it slowly, let it sit on your palate, savor it for a little while, then swallow, because that's going to give you that really nice aftertaste. And remember, four cups of wine, you got to lean for all of them. You don't lean, some people say you got to drink them again. So no funny business. Lean, drink your four cups, have a beautiful, wonderful, healthy, and meaningful Passover and Pesach holiday. And uh, don't forget, kosherwine.com. That's the place to go to get any kind of great wine that you want. Kosher wine from all over the world, France, Israel, California, you name it. It's there, great prices, shipped to your door, you can't go wrong. And uh, I'm gonna wish you a beautiful, healthy,
kosher Pesach, and um, again, a meaningful one, let's say, Nechayim. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Borei Pliya Gefet.